YouTube, what's good? YouTube, what is going on? All right, what's happening, man? My Smell Good family, what's up, man? What's good? Hopefully, all of you guys are doing well, doing fantastic, doing great. Anything that's associated, associated with doing great, I hope you are indeed doing that. That was kind of terrible. That's why you can stop recording and re-record again. <laughs> YouTube, what's good, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening? My Smell Good family, what's up? What's good? What's going on, y'all? Of course, it's your guy one more time, Deirdre L. Hicks Jr. And I am indeed back with yet another fragrance video, okay? So, uh, hopefully you all are doing well, fantastic, great, positive energy, positive vibes. That's all we are on. And of course, if you want to be a member of the Smell Good family, the number one requirement is for you to have positive energy and positive vibes. If you don't have that, then you're going to have to find another another channel or group or family to join all right so um like i said hopefully y'all are doing well so we are here with um my 2022 most complimentary complimented fragrances okay i have 10 of them 10 all 10 of these fragrances were fragrances were complimented quite frequently matter of fact every time i warm i receive a compliment throughout the year now of course this varies throughout different seasons of the year um, and obviously a 12 month span. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Again, these are my 10 most complimented fragrances of 2022. All right, up first, man, probably my favorite of the line. You know, sometimes, you know, I can find a spot to wear this outside of the cooler weather, like it may be a spring night or even a summer night from the house of Emporio Armani. All right, we have Stronger With You, the EDT. The EDT. This thing right here, every single time. Every single time that I wear it, I get a compliment. This stuff is just super good to me. So it, it brings me great joy if I'm out and about and somebody smells this wafting off of me um, and give me a compliment. It, it's dope, man. Uh, you know, chestnut, um, vanilla. Um, there's a slight, you know, uh, slight fruity sweetness in here up top but that chestnut and that, and that vanilla really do the work uh in this fragrance this stuff is really really good and they garnered me a lot of compliments in 2022 so again from the house of emporio armani all right we have strong with you the edt edt all right all right moving along all right this one is <laughs> At some point throughout the week, every day this year, I wore this DNA, of course, from the house of Armoff, we have Club de Nuit's Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. Parfum. All right, so as y'all know, I am a big fan of the Creative Vintage DNA. And of course, Armoff does a fantastic job with the Intense Man collection. So. EDT, EDP, Pure Parfum, Limited Edition Parfum, whatever. But this was the one that when I wore it, I got the most compliments out of. No matter which version that I wore, this one was the one. You know, widely in the fragrance community, I'm starting to see a lot of people gravitate towards this one. And I understand that. To me, it's not about it being close to Creative Ventus, because at this point, I mean, you have so many different options if you want to smell like Creative Ventus, especially if you're not trying to pay that three to $400 price tag. But this one right here has, um, it is blended very, very well. It does touch the sweetness and the fruitiness and the smokiness and the earthiness. It does, you do get a little bit of every component of the Ventus DNA in this fragrance and it is blended pretty good, all right? So every time that I wore this one, for sure, um, I always receive compliments with an S. So again, from the House of Armoff, from the Club de Nuit line, we went with Intense Man, limited edition Parfum, all right? That was the one that got a lot of love 
this year. All right, let's head down to summer, man. Let's go back to the summer, 2022. Every single time that I wore this, every single time that I wore this, I got love from the house of Rasasi. All right, we have Rasasi Hawass. Hawass. Look at all that juice that's up out of there. I wore that thing out this summer, man. So I personally love this stuff. I personally love it in the summertime. You Can you get better than this in the summertime? Just a dumb reach, throw on fragrance um, for the hotter weather. Can you? I don't know. This is beautiful. I have a backup bottle of this stuff. I really love this juice, man. I spray it quite frequently. Frequently and every time that I wore it, when I stepped outside, I got a compliment about this. I've shared links to this. I've sent links to this. The price fluctuates up and down. Right now, you can get at a great price, and you might want to grab it if you're interested in having it for the summer. But, um, because Lord knows once it gets close to the summertime, it's going to go back up, all right? But, but uh, this stuff is great. Complimented every time that I wore it. I personally love it. Of course, it's a, um, uh, in the lines of uh, Invictus Aqua, I think 2016, that's the one it gets compared to. And word is, this was here before Invictus Aqua, so I don't know. But it don't matter to me. I love this one. From the House of Versace, a major compliment monster here, Hawass. All right, Hawass. Hawass. All right, let's go with another one, man. That was a 2022 release. I personally love this stuff as well, and I got a lot of love when I wore this one, man. From the House of Giorgio Armani. All right, we have Aqua Di Gio, the EDP. The EDP. This was another one in the summertime that got a lot of love. And rightfully so. I really dig this one, man. The jury is still kind of out on this one, but for me personally, right off the rip, I gravitated towards it. I really like it. I feel you get elements of Profumo, Profondo, um, and, and of course the original in here, all right? Um, and it's really, really good. Very versatile for the warmer months too. What I mean by that is, you can dress it up, you could dress it down, good for the office, good for going to have some fun, and even good for a nice summer date night type of vibe, all right? Or even a spring day type of vibe, this stuff will work. I got heavy compliments on this every time that I wore it. As you can see, a good bit of juice is gone uh, from it. This one got that work too, man. So again, from the house of Giorgio Armani, all right? We have Aqua Di Jose, the EDP, this one, mm. I got a lot of love, a lot of love shown towards me, all right? All right, moving along to a Middle Eastern that blew my mind and blew the mind of so many people that are around me. From the house of Latafa, we went with the Kayed Al Fursan. Kayed Al Fursan. This is a mega compliment. Monster, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. No, I'm not talking about Creative Vintage Pineapple. I'm talking about Dole Pineapple Juice, bottom of the can. That's what you get with this. I've shared this with so many people. Shout out to my bro, Jeremy from the House of Colossus, the king of the Middle Easterns. He put me on to this. And once I got my nose on this, I did not look back. I spread the word. I shared the wealth. And I'm probably responsible for about 15 people now owning this. Probably. I can just only imagine how many people Jeremy's responsible for, but this stuff is great. Summertime banger, man. Fruity, sexy, um, just a delectable treat, man. A summer gourmand, that's what it is, man. Pineapple, fresh, just sweet pineapple. Really good stuff. From the house of Latafa, Kaye Dow for saying, shine for me. It shine for me. All right, moving along to a staple. Um, that will always be here and every time I wore it, somebody now it's getting to the point where they say I smell blue to Chanel Very very proper and that's what we're talking about from the house of Chanel. We have blue to Chanel the EDP The EDP I said I was gonna try to finish this bottle For the year is out. I didn't quite make it <laughs> Still a quarter of a bottle left in this thing But if you if you if you need one bottle, if you need one fragrance for everything, for any time of day, any event, it doesn't matter. This is it for me. This is it. I, don't, I won't. If you took them all, and Lord knows it'll hurt me. If I had to keep one, it'd probably be this one and some type of Creed Aventus DNA one. That's it. If I had to, that's it. This gets it done, and every time I wore it, it gets complimented, and it's recognizable for sure. From the house of from the house of Chanel. Blue to Chanel, EDP, 
It's a major, major complimented beast. All right, let's move along to another personal favorite of mine, and I put a dent in this thing too, man. This stuff is great. I think this was a late 2021 release, but um, it's great, man. Complimented every time that I wore it this year from the house of Prada, all right? We have Prada Lunarosa Ocean. Prada Lunarosa Ocean. This thing is halfway done as well. And man, at first, the jury was out on this one. But as the year went on and on and on, I think a lot more people started to love and appreciate this. And I know I did. I did off the rip. Got me a full bottle right away. And um, I wore it a lot in different scenarios, man. And I definitely get complimented. And you get the compliments like, hey, man, man, you smell good, man. Or you get the compliments of... Bro, what is that? Tell me. I, I need to know. Why well, I need that, bro. What is that? So it's two different variety. Is well, different varieties of compliments. And this one's seen a lot of them, man. So Prada did their thing with this one. My personal favorite, anytime, anywhere style of a scent. I love this stuff. From the house of Prada. We got Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Ocean. All right. Three more on the list. And this one right here, it always shocks me, man, when I go to the most complimented from the house of Givenchy, from the gentleman line. We have Givenchy Gentleman, Bozois, Bozoui, Bozois, Bozois. Every time I wear this above any other gentleman uh, fragrance from the Givenchy line, it's this one that gets complimented the most. It's this one. It's this one. This is, the, this is one that is very versatile outside of the EDP um and uh reserve privé and i have the whole gentleman line um but this one right here every time i wear it whether it's in a summer evening or spring evening or fall evening or winter evening or at work in the office it doesn't matter somebody wants to know i've given out a link to this several times as well so this is a very popular scent when i wear it and i'm always getting asked about it excuse me, or complimented on it, man. And it surprises me. It's really, really good. The most underrated of the line, in my opinion. But this stuff is great. Complimented heavy this year, every time I wore it. From the house of Givenchy. All right, we have Givenchy, gentlemen, Bozois. Bozois, Bozui, Bozois, however you want to say it. All right, two more left on the list. This is just an all-timer here. From the house of Paco Rabanne, we have one million lucky lucky this is sexiness in a bottle this is the best of the line the one million line to me hazelnut honey plum no matter what no matter when i get compliments i keep going back to valentine's day this past year 2020 2022 and wherever me and my wife were i got complimented on this my wife loves this stuff Every time I wear it, I always get the mm, mm, mm. Every time I wear it, she has the same reaction to it. Fellas, if you don't have this, grab it. The, the discontinued rumors are true. If you can grab this stuff, get you a bottle, tuck it, and revisit it whenever. But you're going to regret it if you don't have a bottle of this. This is a sexy, beautiful, gourmandish style fragrance. That honey and that, uh, hey, that honey and hazel and plum flourish in this thing. Mine is a really good performer. Hopefully, everybody else is too. I have a 200 ml on deck for backup. I want this in my collection for the rest of my life. All right. So again, no matter what, no matter when, lucky from one from Paco Rabanne always gets it done. One million lucky. One of the more complimented fragrances this year. All right. And last but not least, we have one more Middle Eastern, and this is the most complimented. Um, probably of the. I don't know, man. Since I've been wearing it, it during the fall and the winter seasons, and it hasn't been that cold that long, but I've worn it a few times and sampled it a few times, and it always gets love. From the House of Latafa, from the Pride line, we have Eternal Ooh. This stuff gets love, man. Plum, benzoin, cinnamon, nutmeg. People get thrown off from the Ood. There's, there's no Ood in here. They say it is, but it ain't. If it is, it's very, very minimum. You can't detect it. Only the train nose is going to detect it. But man, that plum, that rich benzoin, that nutmeg, that cinnamon, that vanilla, it is so present in this thing. A very rich and warm, um, sticky, sticky fragrance, man. This stuff sticks to you. And every time that I've worn it, I have gotten several compliments. 
several. This stuff is fantastic. It is a king scent. To me, this is a scent for a king, and I personally adore this fragrance. Let's hop did their thing with this one, man. So, again, one of the more complimentary, fragr complimentary fragrances in 2022 in my collection, hmm, Latafa's Eternal Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right, Smell Good family. So those were the 10 fragrances that I believe to be the most complimented out of my collection this year. I could have went top 20 or top 50. I could have went 30, 4. I could have kept going. But these were consistent throughout the year, no matter what. And honestly, if I just had these 10 for the rest of my life, I'd be straight. I'd be straight, man, because they play a significant role when I wear them, man. So, all right, man, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, yeah, we're going to be, you know, just doing some more end of the year 2022 videos. And uh, most complimented is something that has been requested. So we rolled it out. All right, Smell Good family. Until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. And remember, as always, as always, splack it up, splack it down. Splack it that thing all around for sure, man. Create that bubble. Create that bubble. Treat yourself. Live. Enjoy. <laughs>